aim. So amazing, uh, you see how they playing? Live wire, it's all about sports and entertainment. Uh, you don't wanna miss it, so official like you never seen. Keep it going till the whistle blowing from the referee. Uh, everything from highlights and stats, you know that we gotta run it back. Whether on the field or the court, you know that this is where it's at. Uh, subscribe, no delaying. Uh, this is live wire, uh, sports and entertainment. Let's go. All right, what's good, everyone? Welcome to another Live Wire Sports Media update. All right, today is the Brickyard 400 in Indianapolis. And with some exciting news that our own Caitlin Clark will be featured on Josh Berry's car, um, which is pretty cool. Um, I think with her and um, Panini, the trading car company that um, sponsors Caitlin Clark, which is going to be super awesome. Um, here's a look at the car so y'all can get a closer look and see how it looks. I think that is freaking cool right there. That color. Um, what would what would be even amazing if she wins? She wins the brick. Um, I mean, not she, but he wins the brick out with her, her picture on it. That would be really Really, really exciting. Now, Kayla Clark did talk about it and everything, and she think it was pretty cool for her to be on the, um, on the cover of Josh Berry's car. Never did I ever think I would appear on a race car. Honestly, I like, grew up watching NASCAR. Um, my mom was kind of involved in it, so I was kind of a big fan growing up. So now to be on a car, super cool. I was like, oh my gosh, is this real? And then second of all, that I want to drive the car. So hopefully at some point, maybe I can go take a spin. Um, but super cool, um, you know, and hopefully it brings good vibes and we get the dub. Yeah, so that, I mean, what more can we say about Caitlin Clark at this point? I mean, from her college to her WNBA career, I mean, State Farm, Nike, Wilson, and now NASCAR, um, to me, I think it would be, I think it would be super awesome for her to really um, be a part of this establishment, especially ongoing. If it's something that's going to be ongoing, then that would be great. Um, they also did another video of the um, of the car, and they showed it in a whole different dimension. Take a look at it. I mean, how cool is that? So the article goes to read that Caitlin made her first appearance in Josh um, Indianapolis Motor Speedway on Josh Berry's number four Ford. The rookie driver took his Stuart Haas racing entry into tra traditional 2.5 mile oval with the image of the WNBA rookie um, plastic across the hood. Speedway officials had hoped to get the top overall pick in the WMEA to the facility for May's Indianapolis 500 festivities. But the Indiana Fever spent most of her time playing on road games this weekend. This weekend, Clark is participating in the All-Star activities in Phoenix. So Panini and one of Barry's sponsors did something neither NASCAR or any officials could help, um, could helping make um, Clark face, um, Clark, make Clark the face of the race for the weekend. So, which is cool. So they actually, they wanted her at some of these events, but with her WNBA schedule, it kind of like was kind of, you know, a shot in the dark, you know what I'm saying? And maybe probably after the season, if NASCAR still has another race, maybe they, you know, she'll grace her presence to one of these events. I mean, that would be cool. Just imagine how much... They, the, the thing about it is the sports world knows what a public figure and what a great ambassador Caitlin Clark is at this moment. You, you can't not, I think you cannot 
underestimate her her gravitational pull that she got because you got to think about it. Jordan is in racing. Tom Brady's in racing. Um, a lot of other people that's in racing right now. So having her a part of the NASCAR circuit, I mean, that's just going to bolster. Now, hopefully NASCAR could get her to make one of these appearances soon, which will be awesome. I think it will be really, really awesome. I don't know, but um, the article goes on to continue to say, obviously, starting our own partnership with Panini has been real cool. They have a huge presence in NASCAR and in sports in general. Barry said before Friday's practice session, for those who used to the hood of our race car to draw attention to Caitlin Clark's collection, that's only that's that's out. It's really cool. So he said he think that it'll be popular uh, a popular week for social media for the number four car. Um, now the Brickyard Four Hundred. Today starts at two o'clock. No, let me two thirty. So that's going to be something to see. Now, if he if his car was to win, man, just imagine how well that popularity is going to shoot for his um, um, race car crew and skyrocket Caitlin Clark's already high po um, popularity to even great heights. Because, you know, people are going to be like, well, Caitlin Clark's, you know, she's already doing NASCAR. She's doing all of this stuff. And it is, it's not going to be the first and it'll be the last because everybody's going to want a piece of this young phenom. And that's just that's just as simple as that. Um, everybody wants a, a piece of this young phenom. And, you know, the way she's bringing eyes to the WNBA, which, you know, some of these people are still – you know, they jealous and they hating on her and they, they don't want to give her her flowers because they want to make her, you know, pay her dues. Well, honestly, she's paying y'all dues. Just simple as that. She's pay, she's paying her dues by playing the game that she loves. But at the end of the day, she's she's making y'all money. So her paying her dues, she's already paid her dues. You know what I'm saying? As of her, her WNBA career. She's going to continue to do what she do best. So with that being said, it also said Clark has become an international sensation over the past two seasons. She helps make sellouts um, routine a, at a women's college, college and pro games. Heck, her popularity even helped the 33-year-old Barry increase his profile as he switches from Wood Brothers Racing next season. Switches to Wood Brothers racing next season. That's See, that's what I'm saying. Her popularity is helping galvanize the sport, the different sports. Just, I mean, you got to think, um, what, Messi for soccer, how big he is, that's just how big Caitlin Clark is. She's, la she's larger than life right now, and she's only 22. I mean, some people say, well, her flame will run out. Nah, when well, you're gifted and you're great, your flame never runs out. You just keep improving and keep enhancing it because people are going to see how successful you are and everybody's going to want a piece of you. So, but he's, he also said that the amount of attention the car has gotten this week through social media and every thing has been really cool. I am sure it continues to build throughout the weekend, Barry said, who was 13th on the car um, on the speed chart Friday with a la uh, fast lap of 180. Hopefully he can have a good race and make them proud, make them all proud. So, and Barry isn't the only driver who will be making his final appearance for Tony Royce, um, Tony Stewart's team his, this weekend. Um, it will be Chase Ch Chase Briscoe. So anyway, ba back to Caitlin Clark. Um, just you know, just it's just phenomenal. It's just phenomenal just to see this young lady, you know, doing great things like this. You know, racing threes. That's, I mean, that's pretty cool. Racing threes. No, raining threes. My bad. I read that incorrect. Raining threes. How fitting is that on top of the car? Raining threes for number four. So, um, 
Yeah, man. I mean, St Stuart Haas Racing. And, and like I said, this will be Josh Berry's last race with them and before he moves to a new um, racing team in which he's going to bring that following with, you know, that partnership with Panini and Caitlin Clark with him. And like I said, it would be something great. I mean, you got to respect the game, man. Game, game recognize game. These people know what a, a phenom she is. You got guys like um, the Lee singer from Maroon 5 wearing Caitlin Clark's jersey. You got the, one of the country singers wearing Caitlin Clark's jersey, you know, and still people showing her so much love and appreciation where she can't even get that in her own sport and her own profession that she's playing because they continue to try to snub her on any, every given Sunday. You know what I'm saying? So, and honestly, I won't, I, I would not be surprised if um, this year in football that Roger Goodell, if she's a football fan, not, not sure if she is or not, but what would be exciting to have her show up at one of the games for one of her, matter of fact, the Indianapolis Colts. What, what way it would be for her to be at the game? to show up at the game in the press box for one of the Indianapolis Colts games. That will be awesome. Just like I say, that crossover will pop. You know, sp football is already a huge popularity, but just imagine that crossover. They did it last year with Taylor Swift and um, uh, what's the, um, Travis Kelsey. So why not? Why not have Caitlin at one of the games? You know what I'm saying? Why not have her, you know, um, just you know, just show support for the Indianapolis community. You know what I'm saying? So that would be something, something cool. I mean, I think it would be awesome. Probably, um, in college football, she could do it. She could be there for the Indiana, um, what Indiana Hughes, Hoosers or the Indiana, whatever the, the football team is out uh, there. I mean, there's so many different ways that Caitlin Clark could, you know, skyrocket certain sports it's just it's just crazy man how much how much of a um how much of a sensation she is and i mean we have not seen a young female like this in a long time not since the serena the williams sisters came on the scene um i mean you could name a lot of female athletes man but this one right here she's special she's really really special and i just want to continue to support her i want to continue to follow her story wherever team she is but right now i'm covering the fever so that's the team i'm most locked in in um i watch everybody else but my main thing is you know caitlin clark you know what she's doing is phenomenal and she's going to continue to do great work as long as we can get these knuckleheads to Stop trying to hate on her and, you know, appreciate what great talent she is. Because one thing, I would say this before I leave. The one thing that people don't like, when you're great, they're going to hate. Because Serena said, Serena really said, said it best before she turned the other cheek on ESPN and ESPYs, is that she is... Nobody can do what she do. That's just simple. Nobody can do what she do. So with that being said, if you're going to, if you're a racing fan, tune in to the Brickyard 400 today at 2.30. You will get to see Caitlin face on John Barry's car, and hopefully he wins. If he wins, that would be phenomenal. Until then, it's your boy Live Watch Sports Media. You know what it is. We out.
Well, I thought we was out. Now we out. Hey, so amazing. Uh, you see how they playing? Uh, live wire. It's all about sports and entertainment. Uh, you don't want to miss it. So official like you never seen. Keep it going till the whistle blowing from the referee. Uh, everything from highlights and stats. You know that we got to run it back. Whether on the field or the court. You know that this is where it's at. Uh, subscribe, no delaying. Uh, this is live wire. Uh, sports and entertainment. Let's go. Hey.